Hey, this is JC here at JC's Comics and More, your pop culture superstore, 6725 West Central Avenue, is Toledo, Ohio, 4361741931-6097. JC's Comics and More at hotmail.com. And JC's Comics and More Facebook information can be found in the description below. The woman uh, that was in last week uh, bought an Amazing Spider Man one off of. She came back in. Had another Amazing Spider-Man one that I just purchased. Yes, it's another one. Look, no, no, no. It could be, couldn't, could quite be that lucky. I was very lucky to have uh, to have purchased this off of her. She did come back in with some other comics. Unfortunately, nothing as great as this. I was led to believe that she had about ten more comics that were all Marvels earlier than this, and perhaps she does. Uh, perhaps. Uh, uh, because of what I paid for this, she doesn't feel the, the sense of urgency to, to sell those ones yet. I didn't press the issue, and frankly, it's none of my business if she does or does not. Um, if she does have those uh, other books and she wants to sell them, then I would hope to have to hope that she does come, uh, uh, come to me once again. But I did buy another stack of books. Some good comics, but, but nothing quite to the uh, same level of of the amazing spider-man number one so to further ado let's see what i did purchase uh there's an action comics 976 and most of these comics are in very good condition there's some comics that are in a fine condition uh look through them there is no loose pages or anything there are some issues on some of the books but we'll see that but action comics uh number 296 got uh Archie Pals and Gals, number 25. You can see there's just water damage there. You've got this here. Uh, got some writing on the back there. We've got the Demon, number 4. That's the uh, first appearance of Goth Boy. Or no, it's not Goth Boy. What's, what's his name? Him and his cat. Uh, let's take a look here. Uh, Clarion. Clarion, uh, the, uh, the Goth Boy. There he is. Look at him. He's... He's ready, and that's his old man right there. He put the whipping into him, and he had to get a kitty cat. I think he's got a, he's got a pretty mean cat there. But it's interesting how Jack Kirby would interpret uh, things. And who knows, Jack Kirby may have uh, uh, inadvertently credited the whole goth scene with that. But uh, I'm sure Marilyn Manson might have been a comics fan. I've got quite a few classics illustrated. A lot of classics illustrated. There's a gentleman that called me a few weeks back. It's supposed to be calling again soon. I'll be happy to tell him I've got about, uh, I think about a dozen or 15 different classics here. So we've got issue number 24, Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's Court by Samuel L. Clemens. Wasn't that, uh, didn't he end up turning out to be uh, uh, Mark Twain? Um, House of the Seven Gables, um, issue number 52. And there's only one of these that is actually a first printing. Some of these are like fourth or sixth or twelfth printings. But um, and we got Classic Illustrated 63, A Man Without a Country by Edward uh, uh, Everett Hale. Julius Caesar by that, uh, by that Bill, Bill Shakespeare guy. It's number 68. Lady of the Lake. Uh, I think that's a, uh, a rainbow song by uh, Richie Blackmore. Go look it up, Lady of the Lake. Uh, but this is by Sir Walter Scott, number 75. And he's got his stripper boots on. Joan of Arc by Joan of Arc, number 78. Number 97, King Solomon's Mines by H. Ryder, Ryder Haggard. No relation to uh, L. Ron Hubbard, though. Number 102, The White Company by, by A. Conan Doyle. I think that's Mr. Arthur. Number 103, Men Against the Sea by Nordoff and Hall. I'm not sure if this uh, has the tale of uh, uh, that Iron Maiden did uh, um, with the albatross. I'll have to see, see about that. Uh, Pitcard's Island by Nordoff and Hall. It's issue 109, issue 122, The Mutineers by Charles Boardman Howes. 
123, Bang and Claw by Frank Buck. 131, The Covered Wagon by Emerson Hugh. 146, With Fire and Sword by Hentkrit Sienkiewicz. I wonder if uh, Bill's related in any way, shape, or form. And that's a much, uh, that's a much wider comic, as you can see. Uh, issue 164, The Cassock's Chief by Nikolai Golik. This is a first printing, you can tell because it shows that right there. We've got a classic illustrated Junior, The Crystal Ball. This is number 573. And then we've got here, um, House of Mystery, 207. You've got a great Bernie Wrightson cover. You've got the Bernie Wrightson piece on the inside. And then also, as I was looking through, immediately I knew who this was. Got the early Jim Starlin art there. Man, that's uh, between him and Wrightson, that's worth the price, price of admission for that comic itself. And then you got Josie. I thought this might be number one. No, this is Josie number two. Great old uh, Archie type artwork. You got the cheesecake there. You got your you got your Colombian bikes. You got Melanie. That uh, she's doing everything the opposite. No Valerie as of yet. And Melanie's always, always sings when she talks. Here we've got Marvel Superheroes number 35. It's Frank Giacoa, and then it uh, has to be Sal Basema who did the pencils. I'm pretty sure it's Frank Giacoa inks. Uh, from Carlton Comics, Midnight Tales. Uh, this guy, boy, he really did a great uh, impersonation of Wally Wood. The Mighty Samson from Gold Key. I believe this is number 22. Uh, number 11. I had my 11s doubled. But uh, great stuff there. You got the Outer Limits from Dell, which became Gold Key. This is number 16. This first story here, Strangers in Our Mist, uh, that the person had to put on uh, a pair of glasses to see the aliens. I uh, certainly wonder if the Roddy Roddy Piper movie, was it They Live? Um, I think it's Lay the Live. I can't think right now. I know there's uh, some pop figures coming out. Had to have been certainly inspired by that. Space Family Robinson, Lost in Space. Uh, once Lost in Space came on, they, they changed the, sort of added that Lost in Space uh, to, the, to the logo of Space Family Robinson. But this is issue number 23. Um, menace from Uranus. There's lots of menaces come from Uranus. Uh, you bend over and there's gonna, Uranus is going to cause some menaces. And that's not terrible. That's the truth. But there, you get this, this creature here. Uh, kind, of a, kind of a reptilian creature that pulls you in with his tongue and then devours you. Got Edgar Rice Burroughs, Tarzan. Tarzan challenges the King of Mystery Men, the King of Mystery Mountain, to save a lion cub. Uh, this is issue 136, the great Jesse Marsh doing the artwork on the Tarzan. Trag and the Space Gods from, um, from Gold Key. This was a short-lived series. Um, this is issue number 6. Came out September of 76. We've got a couple of Turok Son of Stones. When it was uh, when it was still under a gold key before, or I mean Dell before it became gold key, Tarak and Andar uh, adventures. This is number twenty-two. Uh, this probably would not be for sale because I uh, think I do need number twenty-two in my own collection. Tarak's one of the ones that I'm still trying to put a complete set together. Had this issue as a kid. Uh, God, this this thing, this 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 spider creature right there. Amazing. Uh, this is issue number 59, October 67. 
I was probably just a little bit over five years old at that time when this came out. And my copy, I have to dig my copy out. My copy is probably not in much uh, worse condition than this. That um, I had uh, family in the other day, and they've got a five-year-old, and they want to get comics. Oh, he's just going to tear them up. And I was just trying to tell them, no, not necessarily so. You know, I had comics when I was a kid, and I took care of them. You know, I didn't rip the covers off and stuff. I don't know why people don't give their kids enough credit for uh, for that. Um, I really enjoyed and really took care of my Turoks and my Spider-Mans and any other comics, whether they're Archies, whether they're other gold key comics. Now, this is the Whitman edition of UFO Flying Saucers. I am looking forward to reading this because I am fascinated by this stuff. This is issue number five. And then we've got Werewolf by Night number 22. Too bad it's not a 30, uh, 31 or 32. Face of the Fiend, I had this. I bought when I was a kid. But I did not have the cover. I opened it up. It's like I recognized that immediately because I had the had the uh, the coverless copy. Got that Vinnie Coletta inks on it. Uh, remember that there, man. Calling him. He gets. Go back to the page here. Uh, he's holding him underwater, and and the wolf, you know, slashes him and claws through his face and hurts him, and then um, he gets mad. All right, Jimmy, you're asking for it. I met stuff men like you before, guys who want to play rough. I'm one of you, Jimmy. You better be able to take back rough, all right? Because Steve Rand didn't build his body to physical peak condition for nothing. It's real, Jimmy. He likes he likes Jimmy a lot. Uh, probably some people would, might be, your name is uh, Jim, Jimmy, James, whatever. You might take offensive to, wow, well, he's, he's, he's calling him Jimmy. I don't take offense to that at all. Uh, you need to be made of sterner stuff and not take offense to everything at the drop of a hat. And look, it's got the uh, Marvel value stamp in it, Bucky. You got Bucky, you got a house ad for Tales of the Zombie, which we do have some Tales of the Zombie magazines here I just picked up recently. I've not had Tales of the Zombie magazines in years. Are you guys all set there? Yeah. I'll be right with you there. And, and then finally, Got where monsters dwell in number 18. Look at that red cover. What a what a great looking uh, comic there. And got some Don Heck artwork in there. And there's Kirby. But uh, that's it for uh, for this collection here. Certainly, do I wish that uh, that there was stuff, more stuff like the Amazing Spider-Man one in there? Most certainly. But I am happy uh, happy to have bought these books. My only regret is I wish she would have brought in some older comics because I wanted to give her thousands of dollars more. I know it would help her. I wanted to give her so many thousands more. But um, she got some got some good payoff here. But I wanted to give her thousands more. But other than that, if you like these videos, please, please uh, like the channel. Uh, please smash the bell when you do subscribe. Uh, and be sure to share. Other than that, have a great Thursday, June 10th.